April showers bring the Mayflowers. We're getting plenty of uh, March showers. So those flowers should be ready a month early. Let's check in with Astrid. The weekend is here, yeah. and the skies on southern Vancouver Island have opened up. Oh, my goodness. Just minutes ago, we had some sunshine. Now we're seeing some rain, and it's coming down uh, pretty well in the Victoria area. We are going to see a little sunshine headed into the weekend. That's the good news. But it's going to come with a little bit of a stronger breeze, especially through the waterfront. Tonight, we're looking at temperatures to 7 degrees, highs to 10 tomorrow, which is normal for this time of year. Our temperatures were up to 13 today. Here's a look at your current conditions with your live school net weather sensors out to Reynolds secondary we're at 11.8 degrees we've seen half a millimeter of rain since midnight and a little more coming down right now journey middle school is at 9.7 so still fairly mild through the uh, through the capital region the greater Victoria area the South Island even up towards the north end of the island temperatures are pretty good for us here's what we're looking at we've had a good bit of rain and shower activity coming our way but you can see that we do not have that steady southwesterly flow anymore. That Pineapple Express breaking apart, the system separating. We are going to see a little bit of a break tomorrow morning, but a little bit more rain coming our way in the afternoon and evening hours, depending on where you are. We'll get to that in just a second. A little bit of a transition period as we head into these slightly more clear skies. So we do expect to see some breezier conditions near the waterfront. Temperatures to three degrees around Port Hardy tonight, four along the east coast of the island. Chance of showers overnight through Nanaimo. You'll notice some gustier winds at the exposed sections of the coastal areas. So be aware of that if you're at the waterfront. Much of the same along the west coast. A little windy, a little breezy at the water tonight through Tofino with a slightly greater chance of showers along the west coast. The South Island, we are looking at some clearing overnight. Doesn't feel like it right now because we've got those showers in the Victoria area at this hour, but we will start to see those clouds breaking. Temperatures to 7 degrees tonight, highs to 10 and 11 tomorrow. Expecting your morning to be a little bit brighter than your afternoon. So around lunchtime, you might start to see those showers creeping back in. Much of the same for the Cowichan Valley. Highs to 12 degrees in Duncan, 10 over to Salt Spring Island. Just a beautiful way to start Saturday. So if you want to be outside, Saturday morning is your morning to get out and enjoy. Heading over the Malahat up towards the Nanaimo area as we get progressively farther north, we start to see a little more in the way of cloud cover. Temperatures to 9 in Nanaimo, 10 through Parksville, Qualicum. Expecting more dry conditions in the morning, but then the rain coming in, the shower hours for the afternoon. Gustier winds, breezier winds, especially along the Juan de Fuca Strait and through up the west coast of the island. So you'll notice that at the waterfront tomorrow, highs to 8 degrees in the Alberni Valley, just a 40% chance of showers, otherwise overcast conditions. Mount Washington, we're headed up to plus 2. Some light flurries on the way for you, 9 degrees in Courtney Comox and Campbell River and up to the north end of the island. Likely windy through uh, exposed sections of the north end of the island early in the day. That eases as the day goes on, highs to 10 degrees in Gold River. The rest of BC tomorrow a little bit unsettled depending on where you are through Vancouver you've got some showers in the forecast and then as we head eastward we're going to see a few sprinkles of uh, rain here and there in Kelowna and Kamloops maybe a flurry but sunshine in the afternoon as temperatures warm up. Over the next seven days, here's what you can expect. Greater Victoria gets that chance of showers continuing through Sunday. And then as we head into next week, you see a couple of cooler days there. We're going to see some Arctic air pushing southward as the Pineapple Express and all that uh, milder air starts to move southward. We get this Arctic air pushing through. Through Nanaimo, you could see some flurries, rain mixed with snow, up towards the north end of the island. Wednesday is the first day of spring, and it could come with some flurries. And finally tonight, your weather watcher. Here we go. Kevin Fairbridge, thank you so much for sending in this beautiful picture from Westwood Lake in Nanaimo. A gorgeous sky, and I'm looking forward to seeing something like that, hopefully, tomorrow morning. A little more sunshine coming for Saturday morning. Be nice to see the sun. It will. Mm -hmm. Short-lived, though. All right. That's okay. Astrid, thank you. You're welcome. See you at six. Okay.